Welcome to the CTR Coding Break. My name is Teresa Real, and this month we are going to discuss sentinel lymph node biopsy and regional lymph node dissection. The COC has introduced six new data items beginning with diagnosis dates of 1 1 2018 and forward. The data items were developed for the collection of more specific information on sentinel and regional lymph nodes. The six data items include the date of the sentinel lymph node biopsy and its flag for breast and melanoma only, sentinel lymph nodes examined and sentinel lymph nodes positive for breast and melanoma only, date of regional lymph node dissection and its flag. There are no changes to the data items, regional lymph nodes examined and regional lymph nodes positive. The sentinel lymph node is the first lymph node to receive lymphatic drainage from the primary tumor. If the sentinel lymph node contains metastatic tumor, it can indicate that other lymph nodes may contain tumor. If it does not contain metastasis, then most likely other lymph nodes do not contain met either. Sentinel lymph nodes are regional lymph nodes. Date of sentinel lymph node biopsy. This date is required for breast and melanoma only. It is common for sentinel lymph node biopsies to be performed for other primary sites, but only breast and melanoma are required at this time. The data item documents the date of the sentinel lymph node biopsy. Do not record the date of an FNA or a biopsy of a lymph node in this data item. If there is a separate lymph node biopsy, followed by a sub subsequent separate regional lymph node dissection, record the date of the sentinel lymph node biopsy in this data item. For example, on 9-10, the patient underwent a right lumpectomy and a sentinel lymph node biopsy. On 9-17, a right total mastectomy and axillary lymph node dissection was performed. The date 91019 is recorded in this data item, and 917 is recorded in the date of the regional lymph node dissection. If the sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed during the same procedure as the regional lymph node dissection, then you'll record both dates in both data items. So in our example on 910, the patient underwent a total mastectomy and a sentinel lymph node biopsy. Frozen section revealed two positive sentinel lymph nodes. So the surgeon went ahead and performed an axillary lymph node dissection. The date for both the sentinel lymph node biopsy and the regional lymph node dissection data items are 9-10-19. Sentinel lymph nodes examined. This data item is used to assess the number of lymph, lymph nodes biopsy during a sentinel lymph node procedure, separate from the total number of lymph nodes dissected during the regional lymph node dissection procedures. Use the operative report as the primary source document to determine if a sentinel lymph node biopsy, regional lymph node dissection, or a combination of both were performed. The op report will designate the surgeon's planned procedure, as well as provide a description of the actual procedure performed. The path report may be used to complement the information in the op report, but the op note takes precedence. If a few non-sentinel lymph nodes happen to be sampled during the sentinel lymph node biopsy, then document the total number of nodes sampled in this data item. If the sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed following a subsequent regional lymph node dissection, record the number of sentinel lymph nodes in this data item. On 9-10, the lumpectomy and sentinel lymph node biopsy was performed. Two of two sentinel lymph nodes were positive for MET. Subsequently, the total mastectomy was performed 
with the axillary lymph node dissection. Seven of 13 lymph nodes were positive for MET. The number of sentinel lymph nodes examined is two, and 15 regional lymph nodes were examined. There's no change in the data items when the sentinel lymph node biopsy and the regional lymph node dissection are performed during the same procedure. So in the example, the frozen section of the sentinel lymph nodes during the total mastectomy reveal two positive sentinel lymph nodes. The axillary dissection reveals seven of 13 lymph nodes positive. The sentinel lymph nodes examined as two, and the regional lymph nodes examined is again recorded as 15. Sentinel lymph nodes positive. If the sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed, followed by a subsequent regional lymph node dissection, you record the total number of positive lymph nodes in this data item. So the pathology following the right lumpectomy and the sentinel lymph node biopsy revealed two of two positive sentinel lymph nodes. There were seven of 13 axillary lymph nodes with MET during the subsequent total mastectomy. The sentinel lymph nodes positive is recorded as two, and the regional lymph nodes positive is recorded as nine. For breast only, if the sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed during the same procedure as the regional lymph node dissection, we use code 97 in this data item. The CAP protocol for breast is designed to capture information from the resection. When sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed during the same procedure as the regional lymph node dissection, only the overall total number of positive regional lymph nodes is recorded. The number of positive sentinel lymph nodes is not captured. So using our example again, the patient underwent a total mastectomy and a sentinel lymph node biopsy. The frozen section returned with two positive sentinel lymph nodes. The surgeon then performed the axillary lymph node dissection. That pathology returned with seven of 13 lymph nodes positive for MET. The data item sentinel lymph nodes positive is coded to 97, and the regional lymph nodes positive is coded to nine. However, with melanoma, record the total number of positive sentinel lymph nodes positive in this data item. If only positive isolated tumor cells are identified for breast, the sentinel lymph nodes are con considered negative. For melanoma, if only isolated tumor cells are identified, the sentinel lymph nodes are considered positive. Date of regional lymph node dissection. This data item is recorded for all cases. For breast and melanoma, if the sentinel lymph node biopsy is performed, followed by the subsequent regional lymph node dissection, record the date of the regional lymph node dissection in this data item. And of course, the date of the sentinel lymph node biopsy in that data item. If the sentinel lymph node biopsy and the regional lymph node dissection are performed during the same procedure, the date of both data items, regional lymph node dissection and sentinel lymph node biopsy will be the same. This concludes the CTR coding break. We hope you found it informative and I thank you for listening.